Okay, so today I'm going to um, show you my uh, my setup here. Uh, I've got the plans off of um, windowfarms.org, and they basically have a, a, a hydroponic setup so that you can grow plants indoors, and it uses recycled parts. Um, now I already have this this uh, glass here that I used to use as a fish tank. Um, the pump died a long time ago, so I had to go buy a new one. And basically, I just used the, the plans from version 2.0 um, because I didn't want to um, use the more complex version 3 setup, which I'll try next if this is successful. Um, one, one of the other things I like about the version 2.0 versus the 3 is that it does use a, a tank down below because although I'm doing hydroponics to start out, Ultimately, I want this to be an aquaponic setup with fish and plants and, you know, introducing as few nutrients as, as necessary. Um, in fact, I'm hoping to use my worms to feed the fish, so we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, what, what I'm going to do right now is I just want to test the air pump. Um, the plans call for, for three 1.5 liter uh, bottles that are stacked one on top of the other vertically. Um, and right now I'm just going to test the, the height of the air pump. Um, I noticed that as you, as you uh, add more water into the tank, the water coming out of the air pump goes higher. So I initially start, started about here, nothing came out, nothing, and then right around there, water just started to come up and I stopped and I thought that's good enough. Um, but I found that the height wasn't, wasn't enough. So I've just filled it up all the way and now I think we're going to be able to achieve the uh, height necessary for three bottles. Um, there's a fridge magnet, that's why I've got this set up near the fridge up here, and that sort of reflects how high we need to go. So right now I'm just gonna turn on the, the air pump and we're gonna, um, we're gonna check it out and see how this airlift mechanism works. Okay, so this is the tube, and when it's all done, there's gonna be probably a bamboo stick or something holding it nice and straight. It needs to get to this height here, where the magnet is, um, and then I'll just lop off the rest. You'll see the setup later once it's done. Um, but anyway, right now we're just going to turn it on. Okay, so you can see water is coming out, making a mess all over my kitchen floor. Um, and I've got the tube up. And um, yeah, it's working, so perfect. Um, so I think the next step is to finish off the project and um, get some plants happening, so that'll be the next video. Um, oh, one more thing, if you can just listen to that. I think that's, that's pretty loud, um, and it'll get annoying to have that running in my house all day, all night, um, even if it's just for a few minutes at a time. So I'm gonna follow the instructions and put together the the air muffler first. So I'll do that next before I finish off the kit so we can compare the sounds. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, um, I'm already done. That took that took like about two minutes to do. I just grabbed an old vitamin bottle and um, cut out the the top. Four little holes on the bottom, just like the instructions and in, um, in the plan for version two say, and. Um, I'm just going to turn on the pump real quick with the filter off and then with it on so you can hear the difference. So you can hear that it's a little bit loud, um, kind of annoying. And I'll just put it on. And that's actually um, a lot quieter. Um, there's, there might be a couple of other things we could do to muffle it a bit more, like maybe put some stones inside there or something, but I think for now we'll give that a try. So, so that's it. Now I'm just gonna um, finish the kit up and, um, and uh, that'll be, I'll post that up in a couple of days.